welcome back to bharani today's topic is hcf hcf is nothing but highest common factor last video i did my lcm hcf how fast you can do within seconds within 5 seconds you can get the answer i'll tell you what is the trick now see now first i'll tell you the i'll explain the concept then i'll go to the sums now suppose one example is there 36 and 45 what is the hcf of for this how you will find out normal tradition method 36 divided by 45 smallest number you will take and you will divide with that 36 how many times will go it will go one time 136 is a 36 then what is the remainder 9 then after getting the remainder with this you have to do this one you have to divide that number 9 how many times it will go 9 fours are 36 until you will get zero you have to do and then with this what you will do division this is only the hcf for 36 and 45 this is the tradition method what you will do without that i'll tell you before that i'll tell you what is the hcf highest common factor means Suppose two numbers are there, sixteen and twenty-four. What is the factors of sixteen? What is the factors of twenty-four? Means first you have to start with one. What all tables it will go in that? You have to see one sixteen is a sixteen. Always you start with one, and then two table it will go two eight is a sixteen. Then four it will go four four is a sixteen. Eight it will go eight two is a sixteen. Then sixteen one is a sixteen. always it will start with 1 and it will end with same number that is only the factors of this 16 now what is the factors of 24 124 is a 24 then 2 will go then 4 will go then 6 6 also will go in 24 then 8 then 12 and then 24 it will start with 1 and end with the same number that is only the multiples of this then what you have to do what is the common in this you see what all the common numbers are there 1 2 1 is there 2 is there 4 is there then 8 is there in this what is the highest number 8 is the highest number this is only the hcf hcf of 16 and 24 is 8 this is one method this is one method and then three four methods are there one more is the long division method anything you can do without all that you can do simple short trick is there i'll tell you what is that suppose two numbers are there 4 and 8 what is hcf of 4 and 8 now what you have to do first you see the difference in this two 8 minus 4 is what 4 this 4 is divisible by this You should get exact remainder is zero. Four ones are four, it will go. Four twos are eight, it will go. So this is only the HCF. Nothing else. I'll show you two three examples. See one more example is there three six and eight. In this two, what is the difference? First two see subtract and see what is the answer. Six minus three is what three. Then what is the difference between these two? Six and eight. Two is the difference here. Then eight and thirty-two. What is the difference here? Twenty-four. Okay. Always you have to take the small number. When a small number you see, then this number if it is divisible by all this one or not? Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two sixteens are thirty-two. It will go. So this is two is the HCF for this. That's all you have to do. Next one more number is there. Twelve, thirty-six, and forty-four is there. What is the first? Two? first step what you have to do just see the difference between any two numbers which is the least number that you have to take 12 and 36 what is the difference 24 and 36 and 44 8 is the difference in this type small number is 8 but 8 will not go in this 12 that time what you have to do i'll tell you see 8 is there then 8 factors you write what is the 8 factors from greater to smallest 8 4 2 1 1 8 is 
टू एट टू फोर जार एट फोर टू जार एट एट वन जार एट दिस इज अ फैक्टर्स ऑफ एट देन दिस इज नॉट गोइंग देन टेक द नेक्स्ट नंबर दिस वन यू सी फोर विल गो इन ट्वेल्व इट विल गो फोर विल गो इन थर्टी सिक्स इट विल गो फोर विल गो इन फोर्टी फोर इट विल गो यू विल गेट द रिमाइंडर जीरो सो वॉट इज द हेच सी एफ फोर इज द हेच सी एफ इफ इट इज नॉट गोइंग दैट नंबर यू हॉव टू write the factors of that one greater to the small then you have to go to the next number suppose if this is also not going you have to go to the next number like that you have to do then one more sum is there see 25 32 48 and 74 see what is the difference between these two 7 what is difference between these two 7 what is difference between these two this is 16 so 25 minus 32 what is the difference is 7 then 32 and 48 difference is 16 and 48 and 74 difference is 26 in this which is the smallest number and least number is 7 then what is the factors of 7 One and seven, but seven will not go in this twenty-five. So one is only the head safe for this. This is the way you have to do head safe. I'll explain you once again. If it is whatever is the numbers, let them give three, number three numbers, four numbers, five numbers. How many numbers is there? First, you see the difference between those two. Any two you take and see the difference. If it is a where is the smallest difference, that number you take. If it is here six and three means three. Here is twelve. In this small number is what that small number you have to take. And after taking the small number, you see whether it is exactly divisible by that number. That means remainder you should get zero. Then on then that is only the HCF. If suppose Like this case, see twelve, thirty six, and forty four. Here difference is twenty four. Here is difference is eight. Smallest number is eight, but eight will not go in twelve. That time what you have to do? Write the eight factors. Eight factors, big to small, greater number to smaller number. Normal eight. What is the this one? Factors means what you will write one, two, four, eight. I am telling you write highest number to lowest. Eight, four, two, one. After eight, eight is not going. Then take the next number. And then see whether it will be divided by divisible by this one or not. See four three is at twelve. Four thirty six it will go. Four nine is a four eleven is a forty four. Exactly it will go. That means this is only the HCF. That's all. If suppose this also is not going, then you have to go to the next number. That's all is the trick in this. And any competitive exams you can do fast within five seconds you can get the answer. If you like my video, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.